I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from previous test paper. You need to evaluate integral of cos ln x. We'll use integration by parts. We may have to use substitution also in this particular case. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now most of the questions which you might get may be complicated like the one we, we are dealing with. So you may have to apply more than one technique learned so far. In this example, we have to apply substitution and integration by parts, right? So, you know, integral of ln x is not very easy. So what we will do here is that we'll substitute, let's say w equals to ln x. In that case, dw will be equals to 1 over x dx, right? Now, if I write w equals to ln x, I can write x as equals to e to the power of w, right? So, this implies x is equals to e to the power of w. They are inverse of one another. And uh, now, dw is 1 over x dx. So, so we can write dx as equals to x times dw. Since x is e to the power of w, we can write this as e to the power of w dw, right? So this is a very, very important step. So whenever you have ln functions, you could actually write your equation as an exponential combination as we did just now. So I like you to make a note of this kind of substitution. It will be very useful as we move along, right? So this is kind of very, very important step. Okay, now let's substitute what we have got here and then let's see what we have. So now we can write this function as integral. We have cos of ln x, so we'll write cos ln x substituted as w, so we have w, and dx is e to the power of w dw, right? So we have e to the power of w dw, right? So that is the function. So, which, which we could write as e to the power of w, we should have written first. That's why I left this space, but now we can re reorganize, right? It's good to always reorganize. It doesn't really matter. That is also correct. Okay. Cos w, dw, right? So, we have a function like this. Now, these kind of functions you have already done in uh, integration by parts. And now, I think it should be easy for you to... Uh, do so you can still pause the video answer the question and then uh, look into my suggestions right so now we will do by parts we'll split this into u and v parts right so we can say uh, from here that uh, let uh, u <coughs> let u equals to e to the power of w and dv equals to cos w dw right so if we differentiate this, we get du equals to e to the power of w dw. And if we integrate this, we get v as equals to sine w, right? Now, writing it as, as parts, we know it's uv. So, so uv is this product, uv. So this is how I normally do. And then take away integral of this, right? Take away this integral integral of this portion. So, so that gives us, we can write this function, integral of this as equal to, let me write here, as equal to, so this implies, integral of this is u e to the power of w sine w minus integral of this times this, which is e w sine w d w, right? So that's what we get. Well, we didn't make much difference. We have similar integral, but we have an idea now that if we once again do this kind of substitution, sine could be written as cosine, and then we can bring those terms together. That's the whole idea. So let's do this substitution once again. I mean, the method to do integration by parts let's repeat it once again so now we can say again let u 
equals to e to the power of w dv this time will be sine w dw right so du is equals to e to the power of w dw and v will be minus cosine w right so that's what we get so now we can write this as <coughs> equal to since we may run out of space here so let me rewrite this so we have now integral of e to the power of w cos w dw as equal to we'll copy this part e to the power of w sine w minus so for this we are applying integration by parts once again okay so first is the product uv right which is this one which is minus e to the power of w cos w and then we have negative of integral of this right so negative integral of product of these two so this negative makes it positive and we have e to the power of w cos w dw correct so that's what we get bracket close okay that's good uh, let's open this bracket so we have e to the power of w sine w plus e to the power of w cos w minus integral e to the power of w cos w dw right as you can see we have e to the power of w cos w dw on both sides this is with negative so when it comes to the left side we get two of these right so we get two of integral e to the power of w cos w dw equals to e to the power of w sine w plus e to the power of w cos w is it okay right and now we can get the answers we have integral e to the power of w cos w dw equals to half of we can take e to the power of w common sum of sine w plus cos w is it okay right and now we can replace w with ln x so finally we get our integral e to the power of ln x okay and here we get sine ln x plus cos ln x right so that's what you get now e to the power of ln x is x right so you could write this as <coughs> half x sine ln x plus cos ln x right so that is how you can actually find the integral of the given question i hope that helps i am adil kumar uh, you can always share and subscribe my videos right so don't forget to write plus c at the end right so okay so there was a lot going on in this particular integral i like you to go through it again see how we substitute it and then applied the integration by parts to get our answer and i hope that helps thank you and all the best